everyone, Kelly here, and today I want to do my keep read or unhaul video. And if you don't know what this is, it's where I take books that I bought two years ago and split them into categories for you to vote for, which one I should keep, which ones I should unhaul without reading, and then which ones I should read this month. And if I don't read them, then I get rid of them. And I'm doing this a little differently. So if you didn't notice, I had skipped March because there wasn't, like when I looked back two years ago, there wasn't that many I bought in March and then there wasn't that many I bought in April. So I thought I would just combine the months and do it in April. And I did that and I have 13 books here, but then I was, I was looking at them. There's just a lot of them that I've put on TBRs and I haven't gotten to. So I really wanna make myself read some of these. So instead of doing all three categories of keep, read and unhaul, I'm gonna actually have you vote on three different groups of books for me to read and they're all kind of like categorized different. So I'm not gonna do a keep one this time. I'm gonna have three ones that I want to read and then I have an unhaul group that you will pick. So basically um, uh, the way I did the read ones is I have it split into kind of three categories. And so you're gonna pick one from each category that you want me to read and whichever one wins the most vo votes, I will read those three books. So the first category were books that I've already read. So when I bought them two years ago, I had already read them already. And I bought them thinking they were books I wanted to reread. And it's been two years, and I still haven't reread them. So I want to reread one of these books. And the first one is Fire Study by Maria V. Snyder. I read the first in this trilogy, Poison Study, about a year and a half ago, I think, something like that. And I really wanted to continue the series because the whole point of rereading it was that I hadn't remembered it and I wanted to reread it so I could continue because there was a new trilogy made in this world, but I need to reread this one first. So I really need to continue this reread or I'm gonna forget it. Um, this is a fantasy book about a woman. In the first book, she was sentenced to death and then it just turns out when the poison taster for the, he's not a king, whoever the head of this country is, whenever that poison tester is dies, they pick the next poison tester as the next person who is destined to die in the prison. And she's the next one set to die. So she gets picked as the poison taster. And this just continues her story. I really enjoy, enjoyed poison study. So I have no reason why I haven't continued. So let pick this one if you want. The next one is The Peach Keeper by Sarah Addison Allen. Sarah Addison Allen writes these kind of like, um, they mostly take place in the South and North Carolina. They're these kind of cozy stories that involve a lot of family relationships, usually a romance and a little bit of magic. Like just a little tiny bit to make it a little more fantastical. I can't remember this one at all. I read it, I would say maybe 10 years ago. And I just don't remember much at all about it. And I reread one of Sarah Edison Allen's books last year and I still really enjoyed it. So I just wanna know if I would continue to enjoy this one. Like I said, I can't really tell you much about it unless I reread the thing. I'm not going to, but if you wanna want me to read something that's more like a cozy contemporary with a little bit of magic in it, you can vote for that one. And then the last one in this category is Forest Born by Shannon Hale. And this is actually the for fourth book in the um, Books of Bay Yarn series. So if you pick this one, I'll actually read the first book in that series and then continue the series over the year. And the first book in this series is The Goose Girl. I have been meaning to reread this whole series and that's why I bought the fourth book because I had already owned the other three and I really wanted to reread the series. And so I picked this one up thinking two years ago, I would start my reread and then I never did. So if you vote for this one, which I would say is a middle grade fantasy, kind of almost like fairy tale like series, then I will pick up the Goose Girl and then continue reading the series until I get to Forest Born. So out of these three, this will be the first category for you to choose which one should I reread. And then the second category is nonfiction. I guess at this time, about two years ago, I just got really into wanting to buy nonfiction and then I didn't read any of them. Sometimes I need a little push to read nonfiction. I always enjoy it, it seems, when I pick it up, but I just need that like push to actually do it. And the first one in this category is The Color of Water, A Black Man's Tribute to His White Mother by James McBride. And so this is about a man whose mother was white, father was black, and kind of his life and talking about his mother. And so I think it's kind of like a memoir about both him and his, and his mother. 
It sounded really interesting when I heard somebody else talk about it, so that's why I picked it up and then never read it. It's not like terribly long either. I don't know why I haven't gotten around to it. And then I have Dreams from My Father by Barack Obama. He wrote this before he was president and it is about his father who he had never met or gotten to know. So I think he did some research to find out who his father was and learn more about him and how, how it related to his life. So it's kind of a memoir as well. I think all, well, the next one's a memoir as well. So I have three memoirs in this list. The next one is Call the Midwife by Jennifer Worth. This is also a memoir about a woman who used to be a midwife. <laughs> And I know this is a really popular story and I just have not picked it up. I mean, it's even a TV show now and yeah, I don't know. I have no excuse why I haven't picked any of those up. And then the last one, this category is Love and Logic Magic for Early Childhood um, by Jim Fay and Charles Fay. And this is just a parenting book. It's really short. I meant to pick it up when my daughter, older daughter was around like two. Yes, yeah, because it was two years ago. She would have been three actually. And we were just having a lot of hard times with her temper tantrums and stuff like that. And so I wanted to read this parenting book and then I never got around to it. But my younger daughter is about to, is just starting those temper tantrums now. She's two. So she's just getting into that age of like, you know, defiance, like normal toddler defiance time. And so I really should be reading this. So I will put it on this list. So you have three different memoirs to choose from or the parenting book for this next category. So I need to read one of those. And the last category is kind of just general fiction because all these are from different genres, but the other ones just had more of a category to put them in and these are just general. All of these I have put on at least two TBRs in the last two years. And so I keep meaning to read them. So I would like you to pick which one you want me to go through and actually read. First, I have The War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells. I had been reading like through all of H.G. Wells work. Like I really liked The Time Machine and then I did not like the Invisible Man, I DNF'd that one. I read The Island of Dr. Moreau and that was like middle, it was like a three star. So I really wanna to get to this one because I've heard this is one of his better ones and it's short. I don't know why I haven't picked it up yet. So that's sci-fi, classic sci-fi. I think it's about aliens coming to earth, I believe. Yeah, it's popular, It's a, it's been a movie. And then I have The Green Mile by Stephen King, which I'm sure this doesn't need an uh, introduction because it's Stephen King and it's a really famous movie. And I don't know, I liked the movie. I had no reason why I shouldn't pick this one up. I mean, it is kind of a bigger novel, but it's not huge. And I really did enjoy the movie. I've heard the book is really great. A lot of people say it's like on one of their top, you know, of non-horror, Stephen King, one of their favorites. And then I have The Weight of Feathers by Anna Marie Mecklemore. And I have had this one on my like five-star prediction video that I made like a year and a half ago and I still haven't gotten around to picking it up. That's like really shameful because I thought it was gonna be one I really loved and for some reason I haven't picked it up. And this is um, a story, I think it's kind of like a Romeo and Juliet kind of story where there's two people that work at a, is it a circus or something like that? And so, like one of them has like, is like a tightrope walking family. Sorry that I'm like staring at the back and I still like don't know what it is. But yeah, kind of Romeo and Juliet kind of story. All of their books have something kind of magical realism about it. So pick this one if you want me to read. And then I have Rose Under Fire by Elizabeth Wayne. And this is a historical fiction YA book about a woman who is a, a fighter pilot during, I think it's World War II. And she goes down behind enemy lines. And so about her story after that. So there's the next set of, that one's upside down. <laughs> That's the next set you can choose from. So pick one of those. So those are the three categories of ones you want me to read. So I will read the three that get the most votes and I have to read those three or they get unhauled. And that'll just help me get through some of these books because that's this is a lot of books that I've been meaning to read. All of these are ones I want to get to, so that's why I need to get pushed to read three of them. And then I have the unhaul category. I have two books in here, so that makes it a little more higher stakes that like one of these books is gonna be chosen. And the thing with both of these, I put these in the unhaul category because even though I still have like a temptation to read them, like they I heard good things about them. I have never in the two years that I've owned them, put them on a TBR or pulled them out thinking I'm gonna start this book soon. I've never done that. So I just need to get rid of one of them. 
And the first one is The Enchanted by Renee Denfield. And I believe this is kind of magical realism. It's a it's about a man who is on death row, I believe, and um, just some kind of, I think there's some fantastical things happening and a woman's interaction with the men on death row. I don't know many details about it. I just, at the point when I picked this up two years ago, a lot of people were talking about it and saying it was good. So I don't know. It's been blurbed up here by Aaron Morgenstern, the author of The Night Circus. So I feel like it's going to be kind of in that vein of like literary fiction plus magical kind of stuff going on. But yeah, I've never had the urge to pick this one up. Maybe because magical realism, I'm always on the edge of that genre. And then I have Burial Rites by Hannah Kent. And this was like really popular on booktube two years ago when I picked it up. But it just seems so depressing. And that's why I never decided that I wanted to read it because I believe this is about a woman who is uh, who is um con convicted of murder and she's uh, about to be um sentenced to death and I think she's like one of the last people in Iceland to have been sentenced to death um and this is historical fiction but that just sounds depressing and even though people say it's good I don't know. I have a hard time like picking up depressing books. And that might be another reason for this one too, since it's about people on death row. But one of these, I just need to get rid of and realize that I'm not going to read them. So you decide which one of these you want me to unhaul. So if you want to vote for those, the votes will be, up, I guess it's on this side, will be up on the I in the cards. And you can vote for three books that you want me to read and one book you want me to unhaul. And I'll let you know on my April TBR, which ones were chosen. If you want to chat about any of these books that you think that I really should read and get to, even if it's not voted, maybe you'll persuade me to pick it up as well in April. And I can just get more of these read. And I would love to hear from you down below. Thanks. Bye.